Okay guys, welcome back. Um, this video is going to be part two of working on the, the foam boot spoiler and it's going to be part two of working on the bonnet. So it's like a two by two, you know. So two by two. So basically, this is the situation. The boot spoiler. We put some filler on it the other day. Big no no. No! Found out that I lent on it. Big old crack. Big old crack. So basically, we're screwed. We're screwed! We can't do it anymore. I'm playing. We spoke to our next door neighbour, Trevor, and he said, hey, boys, you know what? I'm sort you up. What you gotta do is put some fiberglass glass on there, and it'll give it some strength. And then, put your filler on that, and the filler relies on the strength of the fiberglass rather than the squishiness of the foam. So basically, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some fiberglass on there, and we've got all the stuff to do it. Um, we're literally just gonna like snip it into strips, lay it on there, put some resin down, put some resin on top, that's set, and we should be good. So yeah, that's all we gotta do. And also, because this is a 2.2, two, we're gonna do the bonnet as well. So the bonnet's just been sitting here for a while because I've been waiting on paint. I've now got the paint, so we've just got to sand a little piece of filler down on it, smooth that out nice, then smooth the primer out with some like thousand grit or something. Then we can go for colour, and then it's gonna start looking sweet. And then yeah, we're basically good. We're gonna get on with that, and uh, yeah. Game plan. Fiberglass resin, hard enough. You just saw we already pre-cut all the pieces to go all the way along the top. So literally all we have to do, get uh, put the hardener in this, mix it up. No idea how much to put in, so we just probably put too much in. Um, then jump over there, we've got a paintbrush, we'll coat the entire thing first without any uh, fiberglass mat on it. Then put the mat on top of that, then coat the mat on top and just really like saturate everything. Might have to really run over and mix up some more because I don't actually know if this is enough. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we're good. I can go. Bam. Okay, so while we went for that to dry, um, I thought I'd just shoot over here because I posted part one of the bonnet video and then obviously I haven't seen anything since, so I've now got primer on it um, and now it's all one colour that I noticed that I'd actually missed a piece of um, filler here. I sanded all the rest and got it all nice, uh, rebuilt this corner, um, but I'd missed that so that's why it's been sitting here stopping me from painting it. I'm literally just going to 400 grit sand it until that edge blends in nicely then put a little bit more filler primer over that and then let that dry smooth all of this out clean it down and then we can go for some colour on this and the car is going to start coming back together the primer is so rough
All right, so we've um, touched in that bit of primer there. Um, we went with like the high build, like really yellowy primer, and we thought we'd put some like slightly more, like slightly toned down primer on there, so it kind of blends a bit better. But it's going, it's going to be black anyway, so that's like such a heavy color that it should just like blend in no problem. But we're now just going to run over it with some 1200 grit because it does have a little bit of texture to it. Um, we just want to smooth that out, and with 1200 it's super easy. Change of plan, um, we were sanding it dry, but we're having a problem where the sandpaper is literally like clogging up really bad, can you see that? Um, but what happens is that clogs up, and I don't know if you can see on there, there's like chunks of uh, like filler. Basically what happens is that chunks up on there, then you rub it again, like you go for your next like stroke of sanding, and it just pushes it back into the filler. Um, and you end up, the, f the filler on the bonnet ends up really lumpy. So the way around that is to wet sand it. Um, no more difficult, it just means that you've got water on here, it lubricates it and mainly collects on here but then you can just wash it off. So then when you're done you just wipe it down and you're good. Makes less mess as well, so not a bad thing. So another really useful tip, um, something I found when recently spray painting a couple of panels on my parents' van. When wet sanding, it's best to keep the sandpaper wet, but also if you can, use a sponge or a spray bottle. Keep the surface that you're sanding wet as well. Again, it just helps the sandpaper to glide, uh, stops it getting too clogged up, helps the sandpaper last a little bit longer and ultimately just gives you a much better finish. So now that we've done that, all we've got to do is let this air dry for a little while, you can see it's streaky. And then we can start throwing some black paint on it. And I'm expecting, I've got two cans of black paint, but I'm expecting it to cover quite quickly. So we'll see how we get on, but that's the plan, we'll let it dry. This is how you heat up your workshop! <laughs> and now we're warm. My back is really, really hot, because I was hot on my back. We're ready to spray some paint. We have that high quality chromatic. No idea. I just got this. The shop had it. It's gloss black, so you can't really go wrong. And it's not like anything else is gloss black on the car. No, I said that back. <laughs> it's just gloss black on the car. But it doesn't matter. This is this is gonna be fine. So that's what the point I'm trying to make. This will be fine. All right? Let's go spray it on the bonnet. <laughs> Okay, so we've done a few light coats going up and then across. Um, this one, I'm going to try and go a little bit heavier and try and remove some of the like misting, like in areas like this where it's still a bit like patchy and foggy. We're going to let a heavier one down.
Okay, so we got everything we want to do done, pretty much. So coming over to the booth, we got fiberglass on the top. The top's completely gone off now. Um, it's just the back is still a bit tacky, um, and we can't really do anything with it until it's like fully dry, because it'll just go gummy and nasty, and we don't want that. So plan is let that dry for a few days, smooth this out, then reapply filler, and hopefully it doesn't break this time. Because if it does, and I've got someone I need to go beat up, so hopefully not. Moving over to the bonnet. So at this point the file actually corrupted for the uh, last piece of that video there, so I'll just film myself in quickly. Basically the bonnet we um, finished with uh, three coats of colour and it looked pretty good but I'm going to do one more coat of colour um, before I then do clear. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video then remember to leave a like or leave a comment about the video. Here there should be a button to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it if you click that. Up here and here there'll be a playlist of all the videos of anything I've ever done on my Nissan, which is awesome by the way, there's literally tons of videos on there, tons of them. The links to part 1 and 2 will be in the description as well, so make sure to go down there and click on those. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next part of how to make a ducktail spoiler for your car.